Life transforms into various patterns of wings, striving and soaring in time. Evolution is of incredible complexity and immensity. In order to explore the origin of life and decipher the life code, over many decades, at the Academia Sinica Institute of Biological Chemistry, a group of scientists have devoted themselves to research, regardless of hardship, with every endeavor out of the love of life. In April 1958, the academician Chou Hao Li was invited to teach at the National Taiwan University, where he introduced the latest biological developments in protein research. This sent a shockwave through Taiwan's academia. Thus, during the presidency of Su Jie Wang, the preparatory office of the IBC was established on February 1, 1970. Thereafter, through the promotion of President Shi Liang Qian, the NTU Institute of Biochemical Sciences was founded in August 1970. In December, Academia Sinica decided to establish the IBC on the NTU campus. When the IBC was established, it had funds and equipment but lacked researchers. Therefore, IBC collaborated with the NTU IBS to cultivate outstanding researchers, including those with masters and doctoral degrees. So far, these two institutes have created the best collaborative model in Taiwan academia. As the IBC was founded, its focus was on physiologically active protein. The focal study was initially on the well-grounded snake venom protein, with extensive exploration of its biochemical properties, biological activity, and mechanisms of action. We realized that the most important component of life science should be protein. There were many types of proteins. We started from studying snake proteins and generated anti serum against them for medical application. The snake venom we collected was a complex. In fact, Taiwan was the first to achieve snake mainland separation in the world. Among the components that we separated were neurotoxin, hemorrhagic toxin, etc. Then we had to determine their structures. Because it was composed of amino acids, the sequence of amino acids determines its structure. The study on bioorganic chemistry was initiated by the academician Kuang Chang Wang exploring the synthesis pathway of organic chemistry and synthesizing proteins with biological activity. Fruitful achievements have been made in Taiwan. This also enlightened the current president of Academia Sinica, Qi Hui Wong, who developed glycoscience in an attempt to develop new medicines for anti-cancer, antivirus and antimicrobial agents. Glycomolecular science involves research works in both chemistry and biology. Our main concern is to understand how cancer or drug resistance from infectious disease are related to carbohydrate molecules. Therefore, we need to solve certain problems in glycose molecular science so as to understand its role in biosphere and to design new molecules. for the use of test or even therapy. Facing the research challenges in the post-genomic era, since the year 2000, Academia Sinica has launched brand new research on structural biology and functional genomics, leading the 21st century life sciences into the zero hour for a momentous breakthrough, especially for protein research. Studying the structure of a protein is key to understanding its physiologic function. Since the year 2000, the IBC has been under the leadership of former director Andrew Wang, whose expertise in proteomics has paved the way for the IBC to probe further into structural biology. More than 20 years ago, some of our academicians 
already recognize structural biology as an essential discipline and attempt to establish it. Structural biology explores the three-dimensional structure of biomolecules. Take example of the SARS virus. How do we suppress its substance and duplication? It involves a variety of enzymes. If we inhibit the function of its toxin-transmitting enzymes, it is the same as killing it. Thus, the spread of SARS could be stopped. This is where structural biology can make its contribution. Besides structural biology, in fields such as molecular and cellular biology, proteomics and genomics, glycoscience, chemical biology, and molecular physics, the IBC has also made remarkable advances. The IBC's research is focused on the structure and function of proteins, in which a lot of things are involved, including signal transduction, protein modification, and biological functions. Needless to say, sharp tools make good work. The development of instruments is essential. The IBC is equipped with the finest instruments, like X-ray, mass, and ITC. A full line of instruments in biophysics. The IBC owns high-tech technology and sophisticated equipment such as high-performance tandem mass spectrometry, X-ray equipment, computer servers and data storage systems, confocal laser scanning microscopes, analytical ultra-high-speed centrifuges, flow cytometry, isothermal titration calorimeters, nuclear magnetic resonance and biomolecular detection systems. The IBC also has an animal room, providing the best research environment for our researchers. We are also responsible for the Genomic Medicine National Program, operating two core facilities. According to the research function, they are high throughput core facilities in national proteomics and structural genomics. These core facilities are in line with the quality and standard of scientific research, providing an ideal work environment for researchers funded by the National Science Council. Moreover, we have a biophysics core facility and mass spectrometry core facility established by the Academia Sinica. With respect to education, the IBC cooperates with the NTU IBS to recruit masters and doctoral students every year. Lectures and research are equally emphasized. Students are from science, engineering, medicine, and life science related departments. The diversification of the basic background enables us to nurture cross-discipline talents. The most important characteristic of IBS is its relationship with the IBC of Academia Sinica. Due to this great cooperative relationship, a win-win situation can be achieved. The educational goal of the NTU IBS is to nurture outstanding research and educate personnel to specialize in both biology and chemistry in order to lead the development in biochemistry fields in Taiwan. Currently, the annual enrollment for the master's course figures 32. 15 of the students enter the course through an individual application and the other 17 students are admitted through an entrance examination along with a figure of 14 students annually entering the PhD course of study. All of the pre-doctoral students enter the course through an individual application. Based on personal interests and will, every student can choose teachers at the NTU or Academia Sinica as his or her supervisor. For students who want to apply to the IBC, we hope they can understand our educational goal. That is, we hope students can cross two fields i.e. biology and chemistry. Therefore, in terms of course design, we ask the students to have both biology and chemistry backgrounds. We hope our life science research contains a profound chemistry foundation. The IBS is preparing two laboratories which can serve the whole school. One is the X-ray diffraction laboratory, 
which will have two X-ray differential instruments. The NTU is also entrusted ideas to develop a metabolomics laboratory. We will buy an UPLC, a high-performance tandem mass spectrometry for this lab. These two laboratories will serve all teachers and students of NTU in the future. Over the years, numerous outstanding students who've graduated from the NTU IBS have very fruitful achievements in many fields such as research, education and industry. The NTU IBS hopes to continue the win-win cooperative relationship with Academia Sinica. With the help of the Academia Sinica IBC Foundation of Chemistry and Structural Biology, we have developed cross-cutting research fields, such as metabonomics, cell stress, and molecular biology and neuroembryology. Moreover, in 2002, the IBC took charge of the Chemical Biology Taiwan International Graduate Program and Molecular Biophysics. Under the leadership of Vice President Andrew Wang and the current director, Professor Ming Dao Tai, the IBC has become a world-class advanced research program. The IBC also cooperates with the NTU and National Tsinghua University through academic exchange to enhance mutual studies and to accelerate economic and social development. This program focuses on training students in basic sciences, including chemistry, physics and biology. After graduation, the students will engage in research work in well-known academic institutions in various countries. Scientific research probes into the secret of life and also brings out the spirit of life. The researchers of the IBC use protein research as a foundation and will keep exploring every possibility in the life science. The professors in chemistry and structural biology are Vice President Andrew Wang Director Ming Dao Tai Professor Kei Hui Ku Professor Chung Yi Chang Professor Wei Yuan Yang Professor Rita Chen President Chi Hui Wong, Professor Shi Xiong Wu, Professor In Ho Tai, Professor Shui Tian Chen, Professor Po Huang Liang, Professor Chun Hong Lin. The professors in molecular and cellular biology are. Professor Yi Sheng Chen, Professor Zhang Chen Huang, Professor Hong Wen Chen, Professor Xin Dak Ju, Professor Yung Chu Quan, Professor Rei Hua Chen, Professor Ming Ting Li, Professor Zi Qing Meng. Professor Guang Chao Chen, Professor Mao Song Chang, Professor Qi Ming Liang, Professor Sung Cheng Liu, Professor Yu Mei Li, Professor Qing Ren Chang, Professor Lung Qi Yu, Professor Yo Ling Si. In the vast realm of life sciences, we expect that there will be more people enthusiastic about the mysteries of life to join our efforts. There lies a key to a promising future for the entire human race. <laughs>